Okay, today we are going to see on the HSP relay. What is the DHCP relay? The HSP relay, um, its name implies, the relay is a node or intermediate node that achieves the communication between the two parts. So for the case of DHCP, uh, we have seen uh, DHCP in a global uh, IP pool and the interface IP pool. So in a global IP pool and the interface IP pool, we, we achieve to, uh, to assign IP address automatically in a single broadcast domain. So if uh, maybe uh, the HSP server is located in beyond the broadcast domain, that means this IP or this client here cannot get IP address from the HSP server. So for that case, that means because uh, client uh, or when they boots up, they sent a broadcast, uh, broadcast packet to search for uh, the HSP server. So, as we know, the uh, broadcast packet can trans transverse only within the broadcast domain and it can't go beyond the broadcast domain. So, for the case that uh, broadcast, uh, for the case that the HSP server is located beyond the broadcast domain, that means we need to deploy something which, call, which, which is called the HCP delay. So, the HCP delay achieve communication between two broadcast domain. So, uh, the, uh, the connection or the communication between the HP relay and the HP server is the unicast. So they communicate in unicast mode because in the HP relay we know where the HP server is located. So, uh, but in the uh, in the side of the broadcast domain one, when the, in the side of the HP relay, the, the process is still the same. When the clients boots up, they start to send a broadcast, uh, broadcast packet for to search the, for uh, DHCP server. But uh, for for this case now, the relay will be present, so the uh, the the packet will be received by the HP relay, and then the HP relay uh, um, deliver these packets to the HP server in unicast unicast mode. So this case is a uh, very simple. So where do we need the HP delay? We need the HP delay in a, in a scenario that the clients and the server are located in two different broadcast domain. That means the broadcast packets that are sent uh, from the client to the HP server can't reach or can't go beyond the, the uh, beyond uh, uh, the HP beyond router. Also uh, for the, for the case of for this case that. Uh, the router is our DHCP relay. So we need to deploy the intermediate node that will translate uh, this broadcast packet to unicast packet that can reach this case. So uh, just, uh, this is a, this is our scenario. We have two client, client one and client two. All of these clients are need to get uh, IP address from DHCP server, which is located in second broadcast domain. That means the packet that is sent from this cannot go beyond this uh, router. So the router will block. So the HP relay will, uh, will deliver these packets from these uh, clients to uh, the HP server. So they, they have some mechanism uh, to negotiate. So the prerequisite for configuring the HP relay, we have we need to have the HP server IP. We need to have the HP server IP, which is valid and which is reachable. Also, we need to have the HP relay IP address, the IP address that. Uh, this client will use to to go out of this local local area. It's like a gateway that the uh, this client will, will use to go out the the network. So also we need to have uh, communication between the, the HP relay and the HP server that should be in the IP connectivity. So we have to configure either a dynamic routing protocol or static routing protocol. It depends to your design. So for this case, I configured. Uh, static routing to ensure that this DHCP relay and DHCP server can reach from each other. So let's see the configuration and then proceed to the next step. So for, for the case now, go to the DHCP relay, DHCP relay then query the current configuration, display current configuration, current configuration. As you can see, this is a system name. Then go down. Go down. We have uh, I have configured the uh, IP address to the interface 000 of which is 92.168.50.1, which is the gateway of these clients. The IP address that is located at this interface. 
Uh, also, I've configured the interface JIG001 with the IP uh, address 172.16.0.2, which is this, uh, this interface, as you can see. Also, I've configured IP routing, static IP routing, a default IP routing, uh, which uh, which lose all networks, all all uh, all kind uh, all networks of all subnets to this point. So any network from this which is which is uh, which does not match the IP routing entry will be forwarded as a default route to to this side. So it will be forwarded to this hop. Also go to the uh, DHCP server, then query the current configuration. Now this is the uh, system name after system name. You can see I have also configured the IP address of which this is 172.16.0.1 uh, and then this is a uh, subnet mask of which they are in the same bodycast domain. So they are directly connected. So they can reach from each other. So the, communi the communication between DHCP relay and DHCP server is, um, is actually achieved because these uh, two, two nodes are in the same bodycast, bodycast domain. Also, I've configured also the uh, IP IP routing to ensure that all networks that are not match that are, does not match the IP entry of la of router or DHCP server will be forwarded to this next hub. So any 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 packet that does not match the IP entry of this routing routing uh, of this uh, DHCP server will be forwarded as a default route to uh, to this point this uh, this point. So. Before anything, let me let, let, let's see between the HCP relay IP and uh, the HCP save IP they can reach. So go to the one of these and then ping uh, from one of the of this side. So let me go to this uh, HCP relay and the HCP relay. Let's say ping negative way. Specify the social interface that we are going to use. The social interface now is the one into two one sixty. No, sorry. Negative A 192.168.50.1 the, uh, the gateway IP address. So this is my source interface. I need to ping from this interface to the DHCP server to see if I can reach the HCP server from from this interface. Now go to put go forward and put your uh, DHCP uh, server address zero one. Now can, yeah boom as you can see. Uh, I can reach from the HP relay from this interface. I can reach the HP HP server. Then the next uh, the next step go for go forward to to uh, to configure the HP the HP. So what is next? Enter to the system view. Enable the HP. Enable the HP. I say the HCP. Enable. Then after enter into interface into to the DHCP relay IP interface go to interface jig 000 the interface that is connected to the host display this you can see the configuration there is IP address then here select say DHCP select select now instead of writing global or interface now we are using we are using relay so say relay after there, say DHCP, say uh, DHCP relay because now we are using relay mode. Uh, then relay, there is three options: either release, save IP, or server server select. For for the case if you have one server, as my case there, you can use only server save IP. If you have a large number of IP, uh, DHCP server, you can use uh, you can select from DHCP group. So for this case, I use DHCP server IP. If save IP. What is save IP? This is save IP. So put the save IP there, and then go forward. 16.0.0.1. Yeah. Display this. You can see. Oh, sorry. Display this. Yeah. As you can see, I've already put the configuration as they are required. Then after, I can save. Go to the dish now. Let's go to the this uh, DHCP server which is located at the remote side then enter into the system view now enter the system view now uh, our uh, our requirement needs to configure global global IP IP mode so we are going to global IP pool uh, which this is uh, sorry this is um, 
So this is our this is our network and this is our gateway and this is the DMS list for the name resolution. So enter into enter into IP pool uh, pool view. Say stations. This is our, our name station. Say network network one two one six eight dot zero no dot fifty dot zero mask twenty four. Why this network? Yeah, because I need to I need to uh, to assign to this client of which they are using the this default gateway. So the the network will be uh, the, uh, from from zero and the slash twenty four because I choose the sub the the default subnet mask. So it will be one hundred two one six eight point fifty point zero slash twenty four, which is this, this case. Then select the gateway gateway list of which is one ninety two. 168.50.1 then after you can sell you can uh, you can put dns list dns list you can put the dns list of google yeah why dns dns or uh, if we, the domain name system so domain name system this uh, ip address is ip address of domain system server so for any case for the case of name resolution if you uh, if you if you have you don't know the IP address of a certain uh, or a certain server, you can put its um, its name. Then the domain domain name system can resolve resolve that name to the IP address. So that is that 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 process is transparent. You can't see what is happening behind, but you you, you know that there is a transformation of IP of names to the IP address. So in this case no issue. Yes, for the for the case of configuration, put them. Yeah. After there, I go to the interface Giga 000. The interface that is connected, uh, that is uh, the, the, the interface that is has the HTTP server um, IP. So go to the interface, this interface. Then to that interface, select because before anything, enable the HTTP, HTTP enable. After there, go to the interface. Say DHCP select now. We are selecting what we are selecting global because we have created IP IP pool. So select global after global, then uh, yeah, sorry, after global, you can go. Sorry, I forget something. Go to IP people, IP people, IP people, what stations? Say stations. Then after we need we need to, to, to specify the option. The option 121, 172, 16. I will explain this later. Let's put it as it is. 22, Dot one. Yeah, why is this? Why, why option 121? Yeah, because as you can see, the IP address that, uh, that is located, that is assigned to this interface, is not the same as the IP address that is uh, that is required to be provided to this broadcast. So, this uh, the, this client needs to get this 102.168.50.1, but here, uh, we have 172.16.0.1. So we need we need to uh, we need to notify the the dash speed that for, the, for if you see if you see this this subnet that means this will represent if you see anything between this uh, this IP that will represent this gateway. So that is that is the meaning of option 120.121. This is very crucial, very important command that. Is, if you if you not light it, that means the HP is not going to work. So make sure you don't forget that. Oh, so that is oh sorry, there is configuration uh, error. Uh, okay, I forget light something. Option twenty one, then IP address. It's IP address. IP address. Yeah, boom. As you can see. Now done. You can verify your configuration by this very kind of configuration. Yep, you can see, you can check, you can check. Yeah, yes. Sorry. Yeah, this is our global a people. Uh, I've enabled. I've select this and whatever, whatever. Yeah.
yeah now yet go to the IP, to the to the device now uh, initially there was I, I i retrieved the ip configuration then uh, i got nothing so let me try now yeah boom now i i got some uh, ip configuration so this is uh, how we do ip relay it's very trick very uh, very challenging but if you concentrate you can get it well yeah I think that is the end, the end for, for so, thank you, thank you so much, for any case you can comment below this video, then I can see it and then I can work on it, so thank you so much for this.